Hello boys and girls, here's our second story in our Poppleton book by Cynthia Ryland, illustrated by Mark Teague. The story is called The Library. Last time, our story mostly took place at Poppleton's home and at his neighbor's, Cherry Sue. Here, he's going to the library. Do you know what you can do at the library? You can check out lots of books to read, and then you take them back when you're finished, just like we do for our classroom books. So, I know our library in town has several books by Cynthia Ryland. So, once it opens back up again, I hope you'll all enjoy going there. The Library Poppleton went to the library every Monday. Monday was always Poppleton's Library Day. If Cherry Sue invited him to tea on Monday, Poppleton would say, Sorry, Library Day. If there was a wonderful parade in town on Monday, Poppleton would say, Too bad, Library Day. Poppleton took Library Day very seriously. At the library, Poppleton always got a table all to himself. He spread out each of his things on the table. His eyeglasses, his tissues, his lip balm, his pocket watch, his book marker, and his duffel. He's got everything put around him. Then he began to read. Poppleton liked adventure stories. He buried his head in an adventure book every Monday and left it there all day long. Sometimes he needed a tissue for a sad part. Sometimes he needed lip balm for a dry part. Sometimes he needed his pocket watch for a slow part. But he loved his adventure. At the end of the day, Poppleton finished the story. He thanked the librarian and packed up his things in his duffel. Then he slowly walked home, all dreamy from so much adventure. Monday was Poppleton's favorite day of all. Have a wonderful day, boys and girls.